Hello YouTube, this is Fancy Pollock, and today I'm going to be doing a review of the Turtle Beach Z60. These are probably one of my favorite headphones I've used. Not my favorite, but one of my favorite. So as you can tell already, it has 7.1 channel surround sound, though it's not true surround sound, it's uh, simulated. It's also specifically only made for PC, so it only connects by one USB. It has DTS Headphone X, has a couple different surround sound modes, has huge 60 millimeter drivers, and you separate game and chat. I really do like the headset, but for the premium you pay for it, it, it was originally at uh, $129, I think 120 bucks, I think. I'm glad I got it when it was a little cheaper, but for the price you pay for it, it's, it's really not the most amazing product like it's good the base is amazing thanks to those 60 millimeter drivers but the the sound quality kind of lacks a little bit not only in just the headphone itself but also the the microphone too the microphone isn't fantastic either that's what I'm using right now so you'll definitely notice that it looks nice it kind of looks pretty bland in general but it it's a solid performing headset um, it, my, my only complaint besides it being not as crisp as my old X11s is that sometimes stuff sounds muffled out, muffled a little bit, and also the microphone. Microphone is not up to par with gaming standards these days. So, overall, the main areas I feel like Turtle Beach could up their game a bit is one, having crisper sound quality. You, you gotta have that crisp sound quality. Even if it's a virtual surround sound, I want, I want it to be crisp. Because the bass just kind of drowns out everything and makes it muffled sometimes, but depending on the setting used. And another thing, they gotta get their crap together with the microphones. The microphone is not as good as I want it to be. The X11 sounded way better. So, now I saw that they lowered their price from the original 120 to I think 89.99. Which I'm glad they did because I think they realized even their product wasn't the most amazing thing. But it's good. It's a good budget headphone. Like, it's a good solid headphone. I personally, though, when I'm in the future, I'm definitely going to upgrade or buy one of the Corsair 2100s. So I have a friend who has those and they sound amazing. For being wireless and stereo, I think they're stereo. I'm pretty sure they're stereo. They sound amazing. The sound quality is awesome. The bass is great. You know, it's those ones are great. These, I'm glad I got them really cheap from a guy I knew locally, and I didn't pay $120 for them. So my suggestion is not to get these headphones unless you need a lower budget. Unless you need a lower budget headphone. Besides that, I'm extremely, I'm not extremely dissatisfied, but it's. It could have been more. It really could have been. I like the sound settings, but besides that, it it really could have been more. So, um, thanks for watching. I'm definitely gonna have a review of my Razer keyboard, my Black Widow. Um, I just gotta get that. I gotta get on that. I'll get that uploaded pretty soon, within a couple days. So, thank you all for watching. This is Fancy Paul signing off. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. See you later.